Hey yo, what's good? It's your boy V. I'm gonna run through a quick tutorial on how to mix down shit in Adobe Audition, or at least the way I do it. It's not necessarily the best way, but it is a pretty quick and easy way to make a halfway decent mic sound a lot better. So, we're just gonna hop right into it. The first thing you wanna do with any track, in my opinion, is record a 10 second silence. That's 10 seconds where you're doing absolutely nothing. Like don't touch the mic, don't tap your foot, don't do shit. And then uh, that'll, that'll make your noise reduction profile. So you're gonna go into there. This is my little 10 second silence right here. Go to restoration, noise reduction, capture your profile. And I have it set dead in the middle at 50, that way it doesn't really take away from the integrity of the main vocals or anything like that. And it still gets rid of most background noise altogether. After you do that, uh, you also want to make sure you have your beat set in negative five decibels. That way, you avoid any clipping issues, anything like that. And then, let's go into our main vocals here. Run uh, the restoration, the noise reduction. Do that. And then after that, I run amplitude compression, dynamics processing. The setting I use in here is fast drums. I renamed it the one, so it was first in the list, which didn't really matter because. The program saves your last choice. So hit that. And then go into reverb, studio reverb, and I use mastering reverb. I didn't tweak any of the settings in here, I don't think, so it should be straight to go the way it is. Hit OK on that. Then uh, here's the only add on I use within this program. It's called Isotope Ocean. And I discovered it a couple years back, and it's really good as kind of an equalizer slash normalizing tool. It just evens out the vocals, thickens them up, all the good shit. So go into that. I'll, I'll leave the link to this for a div share down in the, the video info so y'all can grab it. I don't think I tweaked any of the settings in here, but I might have. Uh, you scroll down to voiceover, basic male voice. The frequency emphasis is 8.9. The low presence is 5.6. Then you hit OK. And that's going to add a whole different dimension to your vocals. Then once I do that, I want to zoom in a little bit and see this here. That's that's a breath as you hear. <laughs> then uh, with all the breaths, I'm gonna go into amplitude and compression, amplify slash fade process. Then you're gonna take the amplification to negative 20 decibels. The reason you want to do it this way is so that you're not taking away from the integrity of the track. Where if you silenced it, you would notice. So let's do that. And we're going to do that for all the breaths within the track. If you're not sure where the breaths are, you can always just play it through and stop it wherever you hear a breath. For, seems like, forever, there's no like right there. Like, I pretty much know what my breaths look like, so I'm just going to go through and do it real quick. Because I have limited time on this stupid program I'm recording with. So we're going to go through here. Take out all the breaths. Burn it all. It's a pretty tedious process, but it's well worth it in the end. I think that's a breath. Let's find out. Y'all. I'm a big dude. I breathe a lot. Leave me alone. Uh, and I think that's an exhale, but we'll see. Yeah, we'll take that out. Screw it. Here, I don't know what the fuck that is. That would not be a breath. I think this is probably one though. Let's find out. These range of the ball slow, echo went through the chambers inside my mind. Ooh, that's a nasty one there. Watch these breast baits blow. Watching the clock, I still is grip of time. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. The memories spill away with these. Emotionless, I see. She's grip on these strings. 
usually you want to try and take out your exhales too. I don't really worry about that too much, except at the end of the verse where it's pretty evident. And you're just going to run through and do the same thing for each track that you made. Uh, I got my main vocals. This is my dub over. Like I said, you don't have to use isotope. It's just an easier way to get around having to EQ and shit individually. It, but it's whatever. Then this is my hype track. It, it's the reason you want to have a hype track is to fill in any gaps that you would have within your verse, like any oh, dead air. You just want to eliminate that altogether. The only different thing I do with hype tracks is I go in and I switch up the reverb on it after I run through the first basic steps. That way it has a little bit of a different sound and this is what it will sound like. Alright, so that pretty much ends our verse tutorial on how to mix shit down. Just make sure that you're starting out at negative 5 decibels with the beat and with your main vocals. I try and run my dubs about 6 to 7 decibels behind my mains. That way they're not too overpowering. You can put them further in the mix if you really need to. And uh, you're just going to tweak everything out from that basic volume. And then your hype track. You want to run that negative 9 decibels, start out and adjust it as needed. And I will get into mixing on hooks with the next video. So I will see y'all in a minute.